Hey guys, what's up? It's Tom again from TTT Tom's Tech Time today with a drone special again, but this time a post pro drone special, so to say. But you can use all that knowledge on uh, all kinds of GoPro or whatever fish eye looking videos. Um, let's just check out an example. I took that snapshot um, from a video file I captured with my GoPro Hero 4K, uh, the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition. Um, and you can see that uh, we, we really have a fisheye effect here. Um, actually, it's a wide angle fisheye effect, I'm not sure. But um, we can see that the lines aren't pretty straight, the tower, the housings. And uh, with an effect that really only took me about 30 seconds and that you can use with video and photo both, uh, I ended up with something like that. Um, and actually, you, you can see the lines are straight again, the tower is better. I really, I mean, I could have done it even more advanced, but I really just wanted to show you uh, what results we could achieve. So first off, we should open up After Effects. I'm using CS5 and CC. Right now I'm having my CS5 opened up. And first off, we gotta import our footage by pressing a Control I. And um, I'm going to use the curve picture. And now we just drag it into a new comp. So we see everything is pretty curved. And um, I can already tell you that my After Effects is in German completely, but I'm going to give you all the words you need. So first up, we go into, into the effects. We could type it in there. Or we go up here, effects. Oh, we gotta click the file, of course. Effects, um, distort, and you, you click optic compensation. And I click op optic compensierung. Yeah, very German. And uh, now that we've got that effect, we gotta click the reverse button because we don't want to achieve an effect that even gives us a more curved look. We don't want that, so we click the reverse. Now we click the optimal pixels. We activate that. And now we start dragging that up. Um, and at about 60, a little more maybe. Oh. 65. We can see the lines are coming up pretty straight again. Uh, maybe like that. I zoom into the picture, I crop into the picture, and finally I end up with a product looking like this. So, um, as I said, of course you are going to lose some of the picture. You can see that by zooming out again. Yeah, this is the entire picture. And I need 117 instead of only 100. But I think this effect is pretty cool, especially if you're filming with the GoPro uh, Hero 3 from the Black Edition on, I think, in 2.7K, or with the new GoPro in 4K. Because, I mean, that's a huge picture, and it doesn't really matter if you're cropping into that, uh, if you're finally, if you're finally uh, rendering it out in 1080p only. So guys, thank you for watching that awesome short tutorial. I hope it was fun. And um, I've got many DJI Phantom videos online, and some GoPro uh, videos about the new GoPro Hero 4 and stuff. Just check it out and subscribe, share and like. And I'm gonna get some food now. Bye bye. As usual, I'm always eating after the tutorials. You make me fat. Bye bye. Holy crap. <laughs>